Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about another project that in my opinion has a really strong future in the uh, in the long term. And this project is called Polka City or the POLC token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any other project we cover on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website polkacity.io in order to learn more about this project, right? But before you talk about Polka City, I want to talk to you guys about Garrett.io. Garrett.io is a centralized exchange that is known for listing low market cap gem tokens way before they get listed on major centralized exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. What this means is if you have a Garrett.io account and if you buy these low market cap gem tokens, you stand a chance to make 10, 20, 50 or even 100x gains on this crypto, right? And if you don't have a Garrett.io account right now, I suggest you to use the link in the description or on the screen right now in order to set up your Garrett.io account today so that you can not only make some really good gains, but you can also get to use their copy trading, giveaways, and NFT boxes, which are not really available on many other exchanges, so that you can also increase your profitability even further, right? And if you use the uh, link in the description to sign up for your Get It Day account, you are also supporting the Brutal Investor channel for which I thank in advance. So going back to the coin market cap page for this token, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rely on the information presented on coin market caps page for this token and the information presented on the website itself. But this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So what is Polka City? Polka City is an NFT marketplace that aims to revolutionize the ownership of virtual assets by building the world's first 3D and AR NFT platform that will be on multiple blockchains. So, obviously, like, you know, Polka City uh, hints at two things. Polkadot, which is a separate uh, blockchain of blockchains, which is one of my favorite projects on the crypto space, as well as the city, the term city of this name, basically refers to the metaverse or uh, anything to do with sandbox or decent land or those kind of like actual metaverse cities, right? So the fact that they have Poker City as the name obviously hints at the fact that it is an NFT project, uh, also a metaverse project, which also has an NFT marketplace that aims to revolutionize the ownership of virtual assets by allowing people to build the world's first 3D and AR NFT platform that will be on multiple different blockchains, right? So that's their overall goal here. So users can purchase a, and own virtual taxis, gas stations and services and earn interest on their assets. So what you can basically do is you can own uh, NFT uh, taxis or virtual taxis, gas stations as well as services on the city and earn interest just by holding these assets, right? By holding the NFTs, uh, representing them, users receive weekly payments as a virtual city com combining different DeFi elements grows. So by holding these assets, these assets also have a DeFi component associated with them, which is how you're able to earn these interests. So you basically unlock both the DeFi as well as NFT potential of these uh, items, right? So Polka City is constantly expanding the available assets and also includes land and infrastructure. So they're constantly uh, evolving and allowing for people to own multiple different assets on the platform, which also includes uh, land as well as other infrastructure that you can also buy and sell and trade on their platform, right? Launched at the beginning of 2021, Polka City has uh, published a mobile app and a desktop version of its virtual city. So they were launched uh, in the beginning of 2021, so it's still a relatively young project uh, that has already published a mobile app that you can use and a desktop version, which can also be used for people who prefer the desktop version over mobile version of the virtual city, right? So in Q3 of 2021, Poker City launched its marketplace where citizens can trade assets. In the future, the project foresees expansion to different blockchains and the addition of uh, additional NFTs like neighboring cities or even continents. So they are still a very young and uh, early project. And on 2021 Q3, uh, which is quarter three of 2021, the project launched its marketplace where citizens can basically trade different assets on the marketplace, as well as 
in the future they plan to add uh, you know um, features where people can buy uh, neighboring cities or even entire continents or elements of those continents uh, which will be a really cool thing right so the next section basically covers about the founders of focus city which i am not going to cover because it's not really relevant for the purpose of video but you guys can go through this section yourself on coin market cap so i'm going to cover the most important section which is what makes focus city unique so why would you focus on any other metaverse project or nft project and focus on focus city right so focus city aspires to be the virtual equivalent of an actual city reflected in the nfts available for purchase so obviously as per the name suggests they do want to be an actual city which means it is an actual uh, you know uh, city with its own kind of like uh, transportation infrastructure as well as land systems that can be purchased and you can function it as an actual city um, currently players can buy different types of taxis ranging from compact compacts to limousines uh, power stations such as petrol or electric uh, car related services such as car washes rentals and repairs hotels restaurants and shopping centers leisure related establishments like disco so these are all some of the objects or infrastructures that can be purchased by users currently and this is something that is available to buy uh, for people who want to access the city right which is pretty cool because it's still in the early stages which means you can still buy something and in the next 3 4 5 years from now you could make a killing uh, sale out of these nfts right so each nft fetches a different price from 1500 uh, polc tokens uh, for a compact taxi which is uh, you know only 1000 of them are available to 105000 polc for a shopping center which is on only 50 of them are available so they are also providing you with some insights on how much of a rare item costs within the poker city ecosystem itself so obviously on the top right corner you can see the price per poker city token which is 37 cents at the mmx video so you can clearly see that 1500 poker city tokens will buy you a compact taxi out of which 1000 taxis are available but depending on when you watch this video you could probably see all of these compact taxis sold out right so that's something that you should be very aware of because you're if you're watching this video you're still probably early which means you can still buy these uh you know assets on their platform right and if you see only 50 shopping centers are available and each of those shopping centers costs about 105000 uh polka city tokens right so this is the kind of metric that um you can use to buy uh, potential in game items or lands or infrastructure players recoup the money through weekly payments of network rewards plus an additional share of earnings from the assets so how can you actually get back your investment right so if you buy 500 uh, 105000 uh, uh, polc tokens worth of a shopping center how can you get a return to your investment you can basically get a return for your investment through the weekly payments that they offer through the network rewards uh, along with an additional share of earnings from the assets itself right so you can earn from the assets itself through their in game defi mechanism uh, for instance an owner of a compact taxi will receive 60 POLC tokens per week plus 16% of the taxi's earnings per month while owning the shopping center returns 13125 POLC weekly and 50% of the center's money monthly earnings so this is kind of how you get back your initial investment immediately uh, through monthly as well as additional reward payments right in this fashion players can benefit from the games virtual economy so obviously can be benefit from the games virtual economy moreover polka city aspires to combine several hot topic elements uh, like nfts and decentralized finance by creating a 3d and augmented reality platform say so they are currently even though it's not available they are planning to create a 3d as well as virtual reality platform that will make their city much more life like right players can enjoy their virtual resource with vr technology obviously you know using vr technology can Uh, enjoy these assets uh, as though you are in the actual city itself in a very high definition manner right so these are some of the main reasons why polka city is something that you should be keeping your eye out for because if you have missed decentraland or sandbox or any metaverse project in its early stage this is probably going to be the next big thing in the future right and if you scroll below they have uh, you know the network security section of this uh, platform so obviously uh, polka city or polc token is an erc20 token even though it has 
Polka, which is which refers to Polkadot. It is not a Polkadot based project yet, but they did mention that they'll become multi-chain and they want to become on a part of different blockchains. So Polkadot is going to be one of the many blockchains that they will eventually exist in. But for now, it is an ERC20 token existing on the Ethereum blockchain, which means obviously they are relying on the security of the Ethereum network to uh, rely on their own security, right? So that's basically the main focus of this one. And they are also deployed on the Binance Smart Chain as well, along with uh, plans to be a part of multiple other blockchains in 2022, right? So that's their main goal and that's how they are secure, right? So now that we covered about the peripheral over overview about this project, so let's go to the website itself, which is polkacity.io. Right on the bat, they have a pretty cool website. I'm a big fan of the website. If you see, I really like their logo as well. Uh, their world's first 3D art and a, you know 3D and AR uh, NFT multi-chain platform and video game uh, earn profits by owning virtual taxis, gas stations, and services, which is again possible. So if you see which, if you want to see which exchanges they are listed in, you can click on the exchanges. You can also click on the marketplace where you can buy and sell these assets. Uh, bridge where you can bridge from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. You can buy individual assets from. Uh, their pla platform itself instead of the marketplace. You can also test the game which is in the beta stage, right? So pretty cool platform and if you see now a multi-chain Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain platform, uh, they have their platform, roadmap, tokenomics, audits, teams and they are also hiring, right? So if you're a developer who wants to become a part of their project, you can, uh, you know, submit your application to get a chance to be a part of their uh, part of the team itself, right? So that's pretty much the website that they have. They don't even have their uh, you know social media information as well but they do have a very short and sweet website which i really like i hope a lot of projects follow their method right so if you go to the coin market cap page for this token again if you see this is a very less well known project because the ranking is 2846th ranking by coin market cap on uh, by market cap on coin market cap and it's currently trading at 37.6 cents at the time i'm making this video and it's slightly up by 1.44 percent in the past 24 hours so it is a project that is slowly starting to get recognition by the community so if you do believe that this is going to be one of the uh, successful metaverse projects in the crypto space you can definitely focus on this project right now because you're still too early right so if we take a look at the market cap the market cap is only 3.2 million dollars in market cap which is extremely small but at the same time it has a warning symbol that shows that this should be taken with a grain of salt which means this, this market cap could be less than or greater than three million dollars i probably believe that since the market cap is slowly increasing because of the price uh, it could be somewhere between you know, three to five million dollars in market cap, but it's still significantly less than ten million dollars in market cap, right? Uh, and that shows that this project has a lot of room to grow, and it is a metaverse project. So metaverse is the current craze right now. So even if you don't even want to do anything with metaverse on this project, you can still buy the token and hold on to it till this project pumps, and then you can dump on it, right? Even if you don't even believe in the metaverse, or if you don't believe that this project is going to become a successful project. This project is still very low in market cap, which means you have a really good chance of making some really good short term gains if you buy this token at the rock bottom market cap uh, price, right? So that, this token is still providing you with an opportunity to make some short term gains. When it comes to the max supply, this token does have some really decent tokenomics. I still believe that the project should have at least uh, you know, 100 million tokens or less as its uh, max supply. But if this token has about 250 million tokens as a max supply, which is quite good, even though it is above my personal threshold that I would like to see on a particular project. Uh, but if you see, we've covered projects that had uh, 5 billion or even 10 billion or even 50 billion uh, tokens as max supply. Compared to those projects, this project is way better, right? And if you see, the circulating supply is only 8.7 million tokens, which is significantly small compared to the 250 million tokens. But there are projects that have less than uh, 100 million tokens as circulating supply when they have a max supply of 50 billion tokens, right? So those are all pretty crazy numbers compared to uh, this project. But this project has some really, uh, you know, relatively manageable tokenomics, which will make this project a really good project. Uh, and in, the, in, a, in a few years time, 
if a lot of these max supplies uh, for this token is in the circulating supply, then this token can in theory become a deflation, not deflation, like a, like a uh, store of value kind of token because they do have a fixed supply and therefore scarcity is kind of built into the system, right? Which is a pretty good thing, but the one thing is that you can't take the circulating supply as it is because it is, uh, you know, uh, it does show a warning sign here. So probably the circulating supply could be higher or even lower, we don't know. But the one thing that we do know is the max supply is 250 million tokens and the circulating supply is definitely nowhere close to that. It's not even 10 to 15 percent of the max supply, which for the short term will definitely affect the price of this token uh, by slumping it or even moving sideways, right? But that's just this minor issue with this project. It's definitely better than many other projects, but it's definitely something that, that needs to be noted as a minor issue, right? So what's the price charts? Look, if you see, the token had performed incredibly well, at least in two separate occasions in the past, and now it's kind of at its close to its all-time low price point, right? Even though it's showing green, it's actually quite low in price point, which means it's definitely presenting you with the best opportunity to buy this token. If you take a look at the price of this token, it was worth uh, 20 cents per token as of 23rd of February 2021. And then since then, the token literally went ballistically to a, an all-time highs of close to $2.5 per token before crashing down to an all-time lows of 9 cents per token as of 13th of uh, July 2021. It was moving sideways for a bit and then it started going ballistic uh, from 16 cents per token as of 10th of October 2021 to a new all-time highs of over $3 per token. And this was obviously during... Uh, the time when this token was, uh, you know, towards the end of uh, November 2021, when this token was obviously getting uh, to be a little bit less, uh, more well known, and then it kind of crashed down, and now it's close, uh, close to its previous all-time uh, lows, but now it's actually moving sideways more than dipping uh, to its all-time lows, right? It's still a really good price opportunity to buy this token because if you see, it's actually significantly at a discount compared to the $3 or even the $2.50 uh, during its first all-time highs, right? So this is a really good opportunity to buy this token because even though it's uh, still in the green uh, in the past 24 hours, it's still... Uh, significantly closer to its previous all-time lows compared to its previous all-time highs, right? Which is amazing. And if you do want to buy this token, obviously, please do your own research. But if you uh, ask me, I would definitely buy this token at this price point, right? When it comes to the Bitcoin compared to, obviously, the price of this token in Bitcoin compared to is following the exact same pattern as the dollar compared to. The initial price was 329 satoshis per token. It went to an all-time high initially of 30 uh, 3200 satoshis per token before crashing to a price of about um, 1600 satoshis per token and then it went to a new all-time highs of close to 5000 satoshis per token and currently is trading at uh, 648 satoshis per token which is, which is still a good price to buy in bitcoin compared to but i would probably suggest you to stick with dollar compared to because the volatility for bitcoin compared to could be extremely high because this token is uh, less than $10 million in market cap and therefore the volatility could be extremely high and also uh, this is a token that you can easily make some really good short term gains and mid term gains and long term gains with dollar compared to compared to Bitcoin compared to right. If you are an expert trader then Bitcoin compared to is for you. If you are a beginner or a, a less experienced trader then dollar compared to is the best option right. When it comes to the markets where this token is available. Obviously, this token is available on Gerotayo, which is one of the most popular exchanges on the planet to list low market cap gem tokens before they get listed on major centralized exchanges. So if you take a look at this project, it has extremely strong fundamentals, really good tokenomics, not really uh, great, but good tokenomics and some good opportunities to make short term and long term gains because of its charts where you can see that this token has already traded about $3 per token and now it's trading at 37 cents, which means this token is at its really good discounted price where you can buy this token. And these tokens are available before this uh, to any other exchange uh, in Gerat.io. So Gerat.io is the best place to buy this token. And if you use the link in the description to sign up for your Gerat.io account today, you get a 30% trading fee rebate along with an opportunity to buy this token way before the, this token gets listed on Binance or Coinbase, right? So that's something that you definitely should not miss out. So use the link in the description to sign up for your own Gerat.io account today, right? Apart from Gerat.io, uh, Get you can also buy this token from Huobi Global, Bitfinex, KuCoin, and Uniswap version 2, obviously, because it's a decentralized exchange on Ethereum. 
uh, and since POLC is a ERC20 token, you can buy this token from Uniswap, right? But I would probably suggest you to stick with Huobi Global, Get.io and KuCoin. I would not trust any other exchanges. And for decentralized options, you can buy this token from Uniswap and PancakeSwap, although PancakeSwap will be my first priority because it is available for extremely cheaper, uh, you know, uh, transaction fees and uh, extremely quick transaction fees. And it's a headache free method to buy this token in a decentralized exchange such as PancakeSwap compared to Uniswap, right? So what's my final verdict on this token, guys? I think this token is an incredibly uh, gem of a token. This token offers you an experience to uh, get 3D Metaverse VR experience on their city, which is only going to keep expanding. You can buy plots, you can buy uh, objects, taxis, uh, a lot of items in this game, and those uh, NFT items will serve as its own investment in the future because as the city grows, the value of these uh, objects will exponentially grow as well in the future. And therefore, that's a cool thing, right? Because that's another investment. Uh, even if you don't even want to buy this token, you can buy just those objects or NFTs on the game itself and hodl on to that. And in the next five years, you will sell it for probably millions of dollars in, uh, in gains if this project does really well, right? And there's a lot of reasons for why this project will do well because it's a really strong project with strong fundamentals, really good tokenomics uh, for a metaverse project. Uh, the charts show that this project has pumped at least in two different locations, a very new project as well. And therefore, in the newest period of time, this managed to pump to two all-time highs. Uh, both of the times are, uh, you know, this token has managed to reach uh, about $2.50, uh, which means this project is definitely going to reach $10 per token in the next few years, right? So in the next one to two years, this project can easily hit $10 per token, which will be an amazing gain. And in the next three to five years from now, if this project aims, to, uh, you know, manages to deliver on its promises, it will be worth at least 20 to $25 per token, which is easily plausible uh, on any of the Metaverse projects that delivers on, the, uh, on their, uh, you know, promises, including Poker City, right? Again, this is just my opinion, guys, not financial advice. Please do your own research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? Again, remember, guys, you guys are not regular investors. You guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.